Hey, this is Aflevavi from TheGinRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, believe it or not, we're going to learn a fantastic guitar arrangement of the 20th Century Fox theme. This is a great, great tune and a terrific guitar arrangement uh, created by none other than the awesome Kelly Vallejo, or Vallejo, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Um, if you don't know Kelly Vallejo, or Vallejo, um, Go check out his channel. This man is a terrific guitar player, arranger, and instructor, and he's been an inspiration to me and to this channel. So uh, go check him out after you learn this. First, I'm going to play it for you. It's really short, it's sweet, and it's a great arrangement for a great tune. And then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen and I'm going to show you exactly what to play, how to play it, when to play it, and different ways you can play it because you can play it uh, finger style, you can pick it. Uh, there are many ways to play this tune. Um, it's short, but it's tricky. So it goes like this. Okay, so this is in B flat. So you play B flat, but you don't have to bar. Uh, actually, you have to not bar this because you have to use your first finger for a solo there. Uh, so you just play one on the E string and three on the B, G, and D strings. Okay? Just a B flat without the bass. You can call this B flat over F because this is an F note. If you uh, want to get technical about it, this is B flat over F, but it's not B flat over F, it's B flat. So uh, let's stop with the theoretical mumbo jumbo and jump into the lick. The lick is this, okay? Now you can play this finger style as well, okay? Just it or you can strum it okay I like to just open my fingers fan like okay a bit flamenco like okay I think they do it backwards um, I'm doing it backwards they do it right okay they 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 open their fingers from the pinky okay I just somehow got used to uh, playing it backwards from the first finger forward. Um, they play it with the pinky first. Okay? So, or, or, okay? Three ways you can play this. Um, you can play it finger style. It makes things a hell of a lot easier. Um, and then you just take the first finger and you play two, one, two, one, two, one on the E string along with the chord with your fingers or just picking it and then uh, this or or whichever uh, tone you want to give it it's just this the F note and then with the pinky on the B string you play three and four okay don't take the chord off you still knit it okay this is uh, practically B flat and then B flat sus four for a second there and then the first lick again Okay, so you see I'm doing it right this time. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this. Um, or finger style. Okay, you see both versions sound good. Then, mercifully, 
we're done with the B flat and you play technically we're not done with the B flat but we're done with the hard part so um, you play the G B and E strings and then you bar the third fret getting ready for a C minor 7 you play the E string on 3 of course then you add the chord because you don't have time to add the chord okay um, you can but it's a lot easier to just bar first and then add the chord and then you add these two fingers to uh, create the C minor 7 this is without the pinky um, the C minor 7 chord and you do this again or okay with your fingers and then you add the pinky to complete this into a C minor chord and you play the G B and E strings again and then six on the E string and you play or which is C minor seven flat five which is three four three four on the A D B um, A D G and B strings respectively three four three four and then you play um, a version of F7 which is this okay F7 of course is this but you don't need the bass you play this you play you keep the pinky on four on the B string uh, your first finger goes to two on the G string and the second finger goes to uh, three on the D string so it's four two three okay okay uh, you can create a fuller sound by adding three on the A string as well okay but I don't think it's necessary because um, then you uh, I don't think the fat chord sound is appropriate here okay this is too uh, bombastic for this so just play the thin version um, and then you take everything down and create a D minor shape um, and you actually play D uh, sharp minor here um, or uh, you can call it E flat minor which is technically in this scale in the uh, B flat scale this is the name of this chord but uh, if you wanna refer to it shape wise this is a D minor shape so you can call it D sharp minor um, if it makes it easier for you to remember so it's two three and four okay just two it's D minor up one fret and you play uh, you play G string B string E string mm -hmm. yeah I live next to uh, an emergency ambulance house or whatever so and then the pinky on six again on the E string but this time you bar the E and B strings because you're gonna need six on the B string in a second so technically you bar it okay so you play the E string but the bar is already there and then you bar three on um, up to the fourth string the D string because you need B flat again this is B flat and you play okay you hear the you hear the F note so 
this. It's B flat with the F note at six on the B string. So, and you pick. This is the last line. So it's B flat with, on the B string, six, three, the bar itself, four, with the first finger, six. Okay, six, three, four, six. Okay, six, three, four, six. Okay, so. Got it? So, from the top, B flat. Then, C minor 7. C minor. C uh, minor 7 flat 5. B F7. E flat minor. B flat. Got it? Now let's play it um, embellished. Sometimes like to slide into notes. That's my favorite embellishment. If you've been following my lessons, you know that I slide into notes wherever I get a chance to. Uh, that's just my favorite embellishment. Um, anyway, you're done. Before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, why not? This is free. This whole channel is free. Free tutorials, free arrangements, free everything. So uh, just subscribe to the channel and uh, keep updated with everything. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, and there's already a ton of lessons uh, in the channel already. So um, go to the website, download the tab for your own personal use uh, in your free time. And while you're there, if you want to give something back, there's a donation button, and I'll be very grateful for any donation whatsoever. Anyway, you go check Kelly Velo out if you haven't already. Um, and he's a terrific guitar player. He's a way better player than I am. Uh, I am a good teacher, but I'm not that great of a player. And he's both a great teacher and a terrific player. I always enjoy hearing him play. Um, and... Um, Say hi from me um, when you're there. Uh, enjoy this. Go get this under your fingers. Surprise your pals, your family, your friends with this. And uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.